time of great uncertainty. We all have lots of questions. So we're taking them from you, the viewers, and putting them to our political leaders and experts to get some answers. Question Time, available to stream now on BBC iPlayer. The Archbishop of Canterbury says tomorrow's funeral for the Duke of Edinburgh is likely to be an anguished moment for the Queen. As family members viewed the many flowers left in tribute to her husband, the Archbishop said the Queen would face the service as a monarch and a grieving widow. She's the Queen. She will behave with the extraordinary dignity and extraordinary courage that she always does. We'll be looking at how the royal family will have to grieve like so many others this last year, bound by the COVID restrictions. Also on the programme. There is more money in this than there is in all the other parts of our business put together. The actress Helen McCrory, known for her roles in Peaky Blinders and the Harry Potter films, has died of cancer at the age of 52. In the US, graphic police footage shows a police officer shooting dead a 13-year-old boy who appeared unarmed when he was killed. And coronavirus infection levels across the UK have fallen to their lowest level since the autumn, according to new figures. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, a first Masters Series semi-final for Dan Evans. He's into the final four in Monte Carlo. That and news from the Billie Jean King Cup in Sports Day. Good evening. As final preparations are made for the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh tomorrow at Windsor Castle, the Archbishop of Canterbury has spoken of what he called an anguished moment for the Queen. Justin Welby, who will play a key part in the service, told the BBC that the Queen, as a grieving widow, now found herself in the same position as millions of others who've lost family members in the pandemic. Today, the Earl and Countess of Wessex viewed tributes and flowers left by the public outside St George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. We'll have more on the reflections from the Archbishop in just a moment. But first from Windsor, here's our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> 